Sir, can we can we open a window? God, please, can we open a window? Oh, hi. Well, welcome back to Scratch. That. Let's talk about this. How are you doing? Keeps holding me hostage. Please, some someone, please rescue me. So I want to <laughs> ask you, Alvaro, the golden question. Perhaps, I've had yeah. lingering all week because I saw everything everywhere all at once again. Yeah. Do you think it's a superhero movie? I'm thinking about it now. I'm, I'm, oh my god, he was too stunned to speak. I what? I don't know. I don't think it is. Really? That's think. interesting. Not even with the fact that she's literally, you know, having to. Oh, I'm sorry. Spoilers for for everything everywhere all at once. If you haven't seen Please it, don't spoil the movie. I guess I I guess I haven't spoiled anything yet. So no spoilers. I technically. Mean, technically. Uh, okay. Put a timestamp so people who haven't seen the movie can you know skip to you know, the moment we start talking. Well, about okay. We, we 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 can just like save this conversation like a couple months down the road if you want. Like you know. I mean. I just wanted a yes or no, really. I mean, and you gave me personally, that. Personally, I think no. Mm-mm. Okay. I if I go any further, it's gonna be spoilers. Yeah, that's not. So, a, I don't want to talk. So about I'll that. like timestamp this in my phone and ask you this question in like a month again okay i'm fine with and we'll that. have a better conversation about maybe because hopefully people will have at least seen it within a month i mean it's doing okay i mean it's getting people's attention if that you know it was in like a small amount of theaters and like made so much money in yeah because people bitched so much about this movie mainly because you know i i, I i can't remember how to say his name but you know the guy who was in the goonies is in this movie oh uh-huh. no uh-huh. Short round from fucking... Any God damn it, he's both, motherfucker. <laughs> he is both. I think he was also in a sitcom, but I'll just... I'll flash it on the screen what the name of the sitcom was, like, for, like, a season. I don't remember what it is, though. But, yeah, he actually, like... I guess he straight up, like, retired from acting because from the, the interview that I listened to, he legit, like, he just couldn't book any roles so he just kind of retired from acting and then found like a love for like behind the camera and even worked on X-Men of all movies <laughs> in like the ending stunt with Wolverine. And I'm like, oh, shit. I guess he like legitimately got the attention, though, of like legitimate directors and shit. So like he was just kind of happy behind the camera for a while. Nice. Ironically, him and the, the guy who played Avatar have something in common. They both work behind the camera. I did, probably didn't know that, did you? Hmm. No? Yeah. yeah. No, Anyways. Yeah, Aang's voice, yeah, Aang's voice acted later on. Oh, yeah, no, Zach, Zach, like, moved on to, like, actually, he's, like, he's finally on the, the public. As of, like, last year, he started doing, like, podcasts and shit now. So, right. like, you know, right. he, he's open to, like, being in cons. And he, actually, I'd recommend um, the episode of Braving the Elements, where he talks about it, because it's very interesting and informative, actually. Hmm. So, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> there's no real way to segue into this, is there? No, not really. <laughs> so, um, I'll let you go ahead and do let it. Me, yeah. You're going to let me say the famous line, the the big line. <laughs> my like The Big Day by Chance the no. Rapper. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> folks, we're here to review Big Day by Chance the Rapper. <laughs> nah, scratch that. Let's talk about this. We're talking about Who Cares by Rex Orange County. Today. Wow, look at that. We finally we have a good actual actual cutaway. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, um, Rex Orange County is who cares. Um, I really love this album. Oh yeah, I no, I, I I've had a very interesting rela- relationship with Rex because like you had told me about Pony and I, I like just bought it I don't know and then I never, I just was collecting dust for a while. Yeah, my friend told me to buy it and I'm like, okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll trust you on this. I bought it. I'm like. This is good. This is really good. But yeah, I mean, Pony's pretty good. I think we uh, should review I, all the Rex albums. I'm gonna uh, tell you right now, and I haven't, I've, I, I think I did listen to the other one, but like, I, I, can't, I, I can't, I can't recall if I did or not. All right, I'd have to, yeah, like you know, listen to it again. Mm. Um, I'll tell you, it, listening Pony back to back with this album, I kind of like this album a little bit better. This is a, I do, a, a significantly better album. So yeah. <sighs> But yeah, this is a very intro. Oh, well, that was weird. Okay, that was very strange. A bulb just flickered. <laughs> a bulb on a burn down. Man. That was concerning. Ooh. <laughs> well, all right. Well, anyways, as we were talking about the album, <laughs> my lo- mic level just shot all the way up for a second. 
Yeah, um, who cares? This is a very interesting album because it sees Rex kind of post breakup in the middle of realizing, you know, yeah. the relationship he's been in for like five years is ending. And then this is a question I want to ask you because mm. I have this theory about this whole album. Do you think sure. that there are multiple times where he wants to stay in the relationship, knows it's not going to end well? But, like, he's in denial. Like, he doesn't want it to necessarily end. Yeah, there's, like, several tracks from like that. And we can, like, go into depth on, like, which tracks I think that is. Okay. For hey. sure. Let's let's get into uh, Keep It Up, Keep shall it we? Up. So, yeah, this is a, a cute little starter track. I really love this track. And I have notes over here, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute little track. Well, I mean, I, I think it's a nice little wavy track that kind of sets the mood, you know? Mm-hmm. Tells us that, you know, he's he's kind of, like, stressing out. He's clearly got depression going on, that's for sure, yeah. and with the lyrics, if we listen to the lyrics. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's very clear that Rex, Rex is okay about that. He's okay about opening up about this. He doesn't mm-hmm. have a problem opening up about his mental health. It also doesn't help that, you know, quarantine pretty much kept him stuck, you know, in the house for so long. Like, he even, uh, I, I think in, like, the Apple Music description for this album, it brings up the fact that, like, as soon as, like, uh, like bands were lifted, that, you know, you can, like, go outside the country, he went with a buddy of his to Amsterdam. Okay, well, that's good to know. Like, you can kind of, you can kind of hear it, like, you know, there's, like, some, like, I've been stuck inside for so long, I want to just, you know, get out there, have fun. Yeah, for sure. And then, then the last thing I would say is there is, like, at least some kind of, like, positive thing, because mm-hmm. he keeps saying keep it up in the hook. So, like, uh-huh. I think he is kind of offering a positive to the negative for sure you know trying to say that there's a brighter side at the end of the tunnel for sure mm-hmm. yeah i mean it's just it's just a smooth uh, little the... catchy tune cat counter we cat got cat one on on it today he's very jumpy today from, <laughs> uh, from what we've been seeing so this is gonna be a probably you know a double digit cat counter today who knows probably we'll see we'll see we'll see yeah next one open a window with tyler it was it's great to hear tyler on a rex track i think this is like this is a really good song I don't really have anything bad to say about this song at oh. all. But I do have some more stuff to add to the conversation. Mm-hmm. So this is a very interesting track because I do think that open a window could mean multiple things. You know, like mm-hmm. opening a window to maybe possibilities of other things in life. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's saying opening a window to like the relationship i think that this song could actually be interpreted many ways depending on the way you view it i think also you know when i mentioned that you know he he was waiting for like the uh you know to the quarantine to be lifted and a more of a literal kind of metaphorical sense of hey can we at least open a window so we can at least you know right Uh, yeah it could just be as simple as that too for sure yeah you can interpret it completely different you know as a different meaning but when you know it all underlines with the same thing like he just kind of he kind of wants to like be a little bit more free for sure i mean because definitely this track also continues the revolving theme of you know opening up about mental health for sure Mm. that's made very clear to me on this track especially but you know he's like he is offering again those small little things of positivity for sure throughout this track as well which is nice to hear but uh yeah He, he also lets us know that he doesn't care about how people perceive him as well. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care about that, for sure. And then Tyler, of course, you know, just comes in, you know, with, like, mm-hmm. little hints of what Rex is talking about, but, you know, offering his little own little taste of something to the track, you know, some originality as well. Yeah. Like, this is mo- this is definitely, like, a call me if you get lost era, Tyler, you know, talking about adventuring. Yeah, and just fine. That's which okay. Is, which is cute. That's which fine. Is, I can yeah. tell that, and no, I'm fine with that. That might be divisive to some people who are, like, not Tyler fans. Who like checking uh, into this album? <laughs> I mean, I mean, keep in mind, uh, Tyler put Rex on Flower Boy. I think some people wanted to hear something. To, maybe there were some people out there who thought he was going to do something to Kid and Flower Boy on this track, but I don't well, care. I, 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 yeah. so. Flower Boy was like so long time. I mean, I mean, I mean like, listen, I, I'm nostalgic for that as I've literally bragged to you a million times that I saw him on that tour, but like. That era is done. Like yeah. we're on the call me if you get lost era. That's done. Mm-hmm. We're we're on to the next era of time. I mean, you could probably you could probably be making a uh, uh, a case for the call me if you get lost era being over now. now oh, you, you look malnourished. No, Give wait. me some bread. 
now with you know with the tour wrapping up and you know pretty much it's been almost. I mean, yeah, but okay. Let's be honest. He's probably gonna at least tour one more year with that album. Maybe guarantee. We'll see. We'll see. Guarantee it. Also, congrats to Tyler for being the, I think, only rapper to sell, like he number number one best selling vinyl of all time. Did did you not expect that to happen? No. <laughs> Igor has sold a lot of albums. So I, I, I do giggle at the fact that he didn't day one have vinyl. However, I do understand because when COVID kind of happened, mm. there the pressing plants were like, well, we don't really have any way to do it because all these like priority big artists are stealing up the plants. Thanks, Adele, by the way, for literally clogging up the vinyl plants. We appreciate that. Literally, there's so many copies of Adele's 30 just sitting at Walmart. Now, I will say, on the flip side, it is a pretty good album. I'm not going to lie to you. I've listened to it. I think it's kind it's of annoying. It's pretty good. I think it's kind of annoying how many copies there are, first of all. I think it's annoying that there's like 30,000 of them sitting there. However, I might actually pick it up at some point. But also, Devil's Advocate, it's kind of annoying at the same time. Mm. The fact that there's 30,000 copies of like Adele <laughs> just Adele. sitting there. They're, and they're like not selling. Like I, No, they're not. No, it's just sitting there. Like, I think we've sold out of like the uh, Awaken My Love uh, Walmart pressing Stay twice. Woke, baby creep. Yeah, we've sold that. Baby I know project. for a fact we've sold that uh, out of those like maybe four or five times. Yeah, because it's a great it. album. It is. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, hmm, maybe if people realize, you know, if there was a, a supply and demand for it, instead of, you know, printing out like four billion of them. I mean, yeah, Adele's still great at the end of the day. I think she just pressed way too many, way too many on vinyl for sure. But anyways, back to it. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Just like Adele, worth it. <laughs> Moving on, we're not talking about Adele anymore. The weekend, because girl, you're perfect. Oh uh, yes, I'm not gonna say anything on camera. No. I'm not gonna say anything about that song on camera. I like it. I'm just kidding. I like I'm it. I'm about to say, please don't do <laughs> me like this, man. Not like this. I'm in the G A. <laughs> Sorry, we, let's move on. Worth it. It's kind of like uh, I like this track a lot. Again, like a lot of the vibes from this track feel so happy, but when you listen to the track. You're kind of like, dang, he, he's kind of sad. And this one's especially one of the bigger ones where he's like, is everything we're going through really worth it in the end? If, you know, if, if it's just going to end, if it's, you know, one of this inevitable, oh, this relationship is going to end and I can feel it. Is it worth it to even try to keep going? Hmm. Yeah, I do think that this song is heavily alluding to two big things. Mm -hmm. One, he's having self-doubt for sure, and clearly he doesn't feel that he's worth it anymore. Mm -hmm. What that worth it could be, it could be worth maybe expectations. I think it's the <laughs> cat counter, too. Definitely w not worth being with this person. Definitely also, too, the big thing is we're definitely alluding to a breakup specifically mm -hmm. for sure. And clearly he's not taking it very well or he just doesn't know how to take it very well. Clearly something is going on mentally. And yeah. Mm. And also he, he's he's blaming himself for it. It's yeah. very clear throughout this whole track as well. I think you also make a case for it throughout the whole album. He's also blaming himself. Just oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, that's hidden. But it's, it's very present on this specific song. Mm. It stood out to me the most in this specific track. Yeah. I, I love how you're like, Adding something, I'm adding something. I, we both are educated over we, here. We were educated on this because I was like <laughs> listening to this like over and over and over again. And like I have the vinyl version. I have the really cool holographic one that I think is sold out on the site. Ooh. But yeah. Look at you all fancy over here. Oh, oh, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, just okay. like Kanye West, this album is amazing. Hey, baby, you're <laughs> awesome. If, you, if anyone somehow knows that unreleased Kanye track that was on the Kim Kardashian show of all things, I will be surprised. What? Oh yeah, there's an unreleased track that uh, Kanye made for Kim. Um, uh, called uh, "Awesome." I don't give a shit. I get it. It's kind of kind of upsetting, you know what we know now. I don't care. I, no, I'm Pete over Davidson, it. By the way. Ah. Uh, I like. Pete I mean, I like Pete Davidson, I like but Pete. like, I, I, I'm not gonna. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that. NFT? I'm not gonna get into my my confusing opinion on him dating a kardashian because i'm not gonna get anybody in here that's gonna yell at us so he's fast <laughs> that boy fast that boy fast watch p davidson's probably gonna be dating the queen next week 
I wish he. I'd rather he just go back to dating Case Cassie David, David Larry David's daughter. But you know, whatever. People people grow attachments. Let let people do. I don't know, but like you know, two comedians dating. You know, I'd rather that. Yeah, I guess. No, I know. I know. She's talked about it, dating him. How it's very confusing. I got. I bet. Do you know that Pete Davidson is going to be in some MGK freaking stoner comedy? <sighs> guess who's going to be in it too? MGK. No, Gata. Mm. I I saw the trailer. It's not very good. What to say? I was like, very disappointed. I'm like, Gata sounds like he's trying, and I'm very disappointed. I'm like, Gata, you're better than this. Come on, dude. Mm. But yeah, anyways, amazing. Oh my god! Yeah. I, if there's one thing I've kind of avoided talking about, and it's not not because I just didn't want to talk about it. The production is so great, and I think it's the best on this track. I think this one's the best production wise, aside from open a window. Like just cause like he blended like a beautiful combination of like orchestra, you know, more orchestra style music and a more kind of pop sound hmm. with a little bit of hip hop in it. And it makes yeah. for a really beautiful album experience. Like like you will just like listen to a track and like start with this angelic, beautiful metal uh medley from a from like a like a string uh like a string section and then it'll go into like the drum breaks and patterns and like the bass and all that and it's just so good i don't have a bad time listening to this whole album as far as the production yeah like i agree with all that so i think this for is sure. i think this is the better production one besides apricot princess they're really close for me personally i think i like apricot princess a little bit more i haven't finished it all the way yet so Ooh, anyways i don't have any opinion on that as of right now i haven't really re-listened to that so i have no opinion anniversary vinyl so you know i got an excuse so i got yeah that's cool i mean that's cool for sure amazing this song is really really good so like would you say that the person that he's saying is amazing is the person that's revolving throughout the album or would you say it's somebody new that he's found this sounds more someone new this okay i just wanted to ask that question for sure i mean you can make an argument for it being you know the the girl he was in a relationship with for sure but this definitely sounds like someone new just okay just because of the way the uh the production makes it seem more like elegant more happy more free in a sense that you know yeah i I agree with that actually the strings stay throughout the whole track usually in most of these tracks the strings are either at the beginning a little bit in the middle or you know or at the absolute end no for this one the strings just kind of stay with you the whole time it makes it makes you feel genuinely super happy so that's what my guess is okay yeah i'd agree with that for sure Mm -hmm. and then the other thing i would say is it it sounds like he has some kind of shame or something at first Mm -hmm. but then he's he doesn't like you know feel that way after a while he kind of changes his mind throughout the track Mm -hmm. is there any theory of what is like anything that we could allude to maybe what that is or do we just not know i'm not 100 percent sure because i i i only got him in, uh into him like you know recent recent but like you know fair enough re- but like you know i'm still you know figuring out a whole lot of things but yeah also he's apparently afraid of something i i my theory is that he's afraid of either change or is he maybe afraid that this might not end well? I think that's my think theory, one of the two. Of my, I, I would also want to maybe think he's also afraid of moving on. Just because, you know, he was with the other girl for like five years. So there's, I, a, there's yeah. a sense that like of the unfamiliar. You know why a lot of people who like have anxiety don't like starting new shows? Because they're more, uh, you know, they're more okay with the familiar. This is actually proven drastically that a lot of people who have anxiety don't like going into new things. I I see you staring at me. No, I'm not staring at you. No, I know no, you, you're I'm, judging I'm me. I'm looking at you because like I'm talking. You want me to look? At <laughs> no, I'm <staring>? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's been it's been proven like they uh, you know people who like are anxious don't want to start new things, so they just keep going back to the old uh, old you know stuff they rem- uh, remember. Yeah, I mean I did that it's with Veronica like Mars a, for a while. It's but more yeah. of like a stress thing more than like uh than anything, just because you know. Some sometimes a new show can be stressful if you know you like a favorite character and something bad happens to him. Yeah, I mean that happened with me with um, Legend of Korra, yeah. for sure. Because I I'd, I'd never seen that till this year at all, and then immediately after I finished it, I was like, "Why did I never watch this when I it came out?" <laughs> I want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, one in a million. This is another cute little track. One in a million. You 
are one in a man. Yeah, I haven't really been doing that this whole time, <laughs> but that's because I, you know, yeah. it's a fun little album to talk about. Uh, but yeah, it's very clear now at this point, you this know, from the last track, yeah, it's somebody now. This is for some, sure. This is totally someone new. And he he's like not ashamed about it. He cares for this person, thinks they're great. Mm-hmm. However, my boy is having a little bit of doubt that he is good enough for this person, though. That's made very clear. Yeah, he is a little. He's also a little anxious about like wanting to wait for so long. Like, what if, what if you know they take too long? realizing they have feelings for each other that they fall out of feelings by accident but like regardless of that it's clear no matter what Mm -hmm. he still cares about this person that's made very clear there's obviously like love in this ah yes my heart keeps driving me crazy there's There's nothing nothing much (laughs) i can do i'm aware there's no one quite like you there's no one quite you in a million (laughs) i'm i'm so so excited to see him live (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm going to see him live on June 24th? Question mark? I think so. I already got my ticket, so, you know. I'm just excited. I'm I'm mad excited. Well, I mean, if you want. If you want it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you want oh, it. Oh, I love this track. Okay. <laughs> this is my personal favorite track. I do think Open a Window is obviously the best track of this whole album. However, I just love this track way more. I don't know why. I think I just love the way it's produ- the production on it. It just feels really just beautiful yeah it's really repetitive and if you're not about repetitive songs this isn't going to be your song it's still a good song though i really no, like it's it. still good i mean it's it's super laid back for sure but i like that about it and you know it, it's definitely clear that this song is more so about being in the moment and wanting to be with this person you know all that good stuff yeah that's all i really i don't i don't really have much to say beyond that he's just you know trying to prove that you know he he does want like a lot. He wants a lot, but he also wants the chance to like be happy and enjoy life yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, for sure. And sometimes I, I think with some of these songs, it, they're really like the less you say, the more it is about it, for sure. Mm. But like, yeah, there's a lot to say in certain ones, for sure. But yeah, yeah. seven a.m. waking up in the morning, got to <laughs> Seven a.m. waking up in, in the, the morning. morning. <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics. Man, shout out to gotta Rebecca work, Black, by the way. Downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta I, I, have just, cereal. <laughs> I know, I know you're joking and all that, but I want to give a shout out to Rebecca Black for like coming out, you know, <laughs> being part of the LGBT community. Woo! Just shout out to her. Shout out way. Saturday. She's pretty cool, actually. She's I'd, re- I'd cool. recommend it if you check out her music for sure. It's she's actually cool, good. She's a cool person, but like everyone remembers that era. Of Rebecca I'm not Black gonna lie. Else. <laughs> I I was there too, but then I found out she actually makes new music, and when I listened to it, I'm like, I do want to. Wow, it's actually pretty good. I'm not going to like, no cap. It's actually pretty good. It's really she good. She looks nothing like she did. No, <laughs> well, I mean, she's like fucking 20 something now. So yeah. like, yeah, of course. No shit. But like, oh yeah, I'm just going to warn you. If you listen to it now, it's like h- kind of hyper pop. Oh now. my gosh. She's got like no albums, just EPs and singles. Yeah. I mean, like, what'd you expect there to be like 20 albums? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, she's got some good music. Uh, she has a remix of Friday, I think, with Big Frida, which is crazy. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Big Frida and uh, Dorn it's pretty Electra. crazy. I'm gonna warn you if you listen to it, it's crazy. Dorn Electra and three o three. It's a crazy. Re- I'm just gonna warn you if you listen to that remix at any point, it's nuts. It's not like it's it's great for me. I love it. Didn't you make a sequel called Saturday? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, there it is. That one's, a, that one's okay. I, I didn't care for that one too much. That's more comedic. <laughs> she kind of admitted that was a comedic one. So, uh oh, there it is. Sneeze no, counter. No, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> yawning. That's it. But, anyways, 7 a.m. <laughs> now that we derailed and talked about Friday for like a minute, yeah. you're welcome, Rebecca Black. We gave you publicity now. Yeah, come on, Rebecca Black. Hook <laughs> us up with like two grand, please. Come on, this is going to be the clip. I want. Can the- Rebecca Black share this clip? <laughs> I want I want the Tyler the Creator suitcase so bad, but it's two grand. Someone yeah, please help me. No, do not, do not pay for that. No. Why not? Don't do it. Why not? Don't do it. Give me a good reason. Don't. Can you give me a reason? There's so many reasons. <laughs> yeah, I like this track. This track is, you know, another one of those beautiful orchestral tracks. Yeah, he's definitely definitely coming back with that mental health here. He's coming back with mm-hmm. it. He's opening up. He doesn't believe in himself. He thinks he's fucking up, you know. Mm-hmm. He believes that he's sharing, you know. Oh, my. 
Mm -mm. His self doubts again. You know, I was talking all about that. I'm no good at this. I'm fucking up. I got used to falling, but I'm now dumb. So excuse me. I'm wasting all the fun. Wow. It, it's it's like yeah, it's a doubt. Like oh man, I think I might be the problem. Maybe every time you know, what what am I doing wrong? Why well, I gotta do this? I gotta do that. But like, this, you you can have doubts about yourself, sure. But like if you let it eat it up, you know. And yet this boy is making like the most funkiest songs ever <laughs> about being like, sad. He's like, I'm sad. The music. Like oh yeah, they're <laughs> grooving. Like, <laughs> the God. lyrics are not matching, but it's still great. <laughs> But yeah, that's a great song. I like that one for sure. This one's the slower, kind of a little bit sadder sounding song, but this one's more of an adventure song. I'm fine with that, uh, for sure. Yeah. The Shade. Yeah. And, you know, same thing. This one's very adventurous. Like, oh, you know, I'm kind of exploring, enjoying life, but it's a little sadder sounding. I mean, okay, this is like clearly he's opening up about, you know, the struggles he's having with this person that he clearly cares about. But they're starting to drift apart. Yeah, that's for is, sure. I can tell this is his last relation, like you know, the last relationship. He uses a lot of like interesting metaphors to like imply that they are most certainly growing apart. Mm-hmm. I mean, he even mentions his trip to Amsterdam on this song, which like that's cool that you caught that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for sure, and making like, time. Oh, sorry, much, you have more to say. My and bad. Like, yeah, he mentions like <laughs> I went up to Amsterdam just to give you some space. Like, dang, yeah, he knew this was gonna end, and he didn't want that. He really wanted to make it work. You make it sound like he's like so wholesome about going to Amsterdam, though. I d- I'm just going to Amsterdam, man. I'm sure it was. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I, I can't remember if that's the place with like the red, red something or. I don't know. It's not red room. It's the red light district. I'm not sure. I'm not an Amsterdam person, so I don't know. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna look like an idiot on camera then. <laughs> You know, editor Andrew, if 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 uh, you know, recording Andrew's an idiot, put a big text in front of him that says "idiot." <laughs> <laughs> Do some research, Andrew. I'm kidding. No, we, we, you didn't even we didn't even know about that. Ouch! The Amsterdam trip until I I told you like today. So, yeah, making time. This is another one of my favorite tracks. That like I don't know why I like it so much. I just think I just think it sounds really nice. I just think it's pretty. That's it. Okay. Not that much behind it. Okay, I got, I got a little bit to add, actually, not too much, but just I'm, some I'm just, just some stuff in my notes this here. This kind of sounds like the way he make he, the way he's like you know you know making this song kind of like sound like vocally and like production wise. It kind of sounds like an excerpt from like a Green Day album, not like the, not like the newer stuff, obviously. Something off the older. Yeah, days. you have to be clear about that because the new Green Day is weird. Something a little bit off the older days. I think maybe like maybe post Dookie, but. Definitely pre- Dookie, stinky. But definitely, pre- no, I don't think it's Dookie. Like, definitely from the Dookie in like. Dookie, uh, what, stinky. One album, one that came out right before. Are I you think. talking about uh, the Heart one or the one before that? No, the Heart one's American Idiot. That came after. I'm talking about. Uh, the- I don't recall the name, full title of that uh, one. Oh, Kerplunk. Kerplunk. Yeah, definitely from the Kerplunk. Damn, and, they, um, Green Dookie Day was just straight up making album titles that sounded like you were taking a shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's good. I mean, they weren't actually shit, though. They were pretty great albums, pretty though. Good. I, I really wish we got more of that stuff. I mean, you know, those guys walk a lonely road. The only road I've ever known, I walk alone. Da-da. Da-da. <laughs> don't forget, Billy Joel Armstrong is going to be going to sleep on August. So, August. Uh, I mean, don't, don't wor- you know, just just wake for the record, some, wake him up when, when, everybody w- <laughs> when everybody was talking shit about Billie Eilish, he was the one who actually supported her. Yeah. Right. Oh we're damn! Making... You say like that's a bad thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. But yeah, making time. This is definitely one of my favorite tracks. I just like the way it sounds. This is more simple. The orchestral like uh, track is kind of distorted at the absolute end, but I think the way he's doing the guitar riff makes it sound really good. Like the guitar is the only leading instrument besides maybe the synth that are in the back. Uh, that's in the background, and I think it's just super stripped down, refined, and just really good. Okay, cool. But yeah, I would say, you know, he wants to be with this person still. But, you know, his, his mental health is like kind of, yeah, not going so well still. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the lyrics also suggest that, you know, this person's supposedly mm-hmm. helping his mental health. But, you know, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, what if she we, isn't? We don't, we don't, we don't know if he's like 
blinded or something, you mm-hmm. know. But yeah. Blinded by like you know he's he wants to move on quicker, but you know doesn't realize that relationships take time. Yeah. He's not making time for himself. Damn. That. Scholarly. Good right there. Aristotle who? Nah. Nah, no. These Greek philosophers ain't got nothing on us. I mean, uh, yeah, you should just shoot me down. This is this is a this, I think this is the longest track on here with almost yeah. it being almost five minutes. That's one of the longest. That's literally my notes. It's the longest, like one of the longest ones, mm-hmm. like four minutes. And it's definitely this is definitely like the one that's like you know about about the breakup for sure. I mean, yeah, he would definitely. He's suggesting heavily that like they're definitely growing apart. Mm-hmm. He's definitely losing control of his mental health, mm-hmm. and he's <laughs> trying to. Hold it together, and it's not going so well. He makes it very clear in these four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a pretty good track for I sure. I like how, like, I think, what is it, like, three minutes of it? Not, not three minutes. Like, maybe two minutes, minute and a half, maybe. It's just, like, him playing the uh, piano. It's I'm like, fine with that. I'm fine like, with it's that. It's still you keep alone with your thoughts for a minute. And it's, like, really nice. It's really nice. It's kind of like a big, like, mic drop think about it for a minute yeah like dang yeah i'm really not doing okay listen to this but yeah no one can stop me now dang it i feel the rain upon my face again Mm -hmm. this is the life whoa they're gonna say i'm a handful but they don't keep me alive oh this is just a good (laughs) this is just a good track last one who Who cares cares? this one definitely (laughs) feels significantly more old school hip-hop inspired so with the way the beat sounds, I just really like this song. Oh yeah, it's a good song for That's sure. Cute. This is very cute. If there's one problem, I think, I think. Oh the, no, he has a he has a criticism of this shoot record. Me <gasps> down, shoot me down should have been the last track, and who cares Ooh. if it came right before it? Personally, just hmm. the way just, just the way shoot me down ends. I never thought about that till you brought it up. I was like, fine. I, I was fine with the way the song ends, but okay. I'm okay with the way the album ends, though. I still, I, I just, no, just a small nitpick, if anything. So it's not gonna ruin my overall rating of the whole album. I just, this is my super niche, super really weird nitpick. Okay, alrighty. Yeah. Who cares? This track is, you know, the title, the title track. I mean, who cares? Yeah, it's good. And yeah. like, this is more of like a, an acceptance. In the end, who cares? I'm just gonna live my life as free as possible. Enjoy what I got. Maybe, you know, have fun along the way. Meet someone new. This is very much like a free thinking. I'm kind of free, but there's still that anxiety Mm. that I might screw up at some point. It's interesting because how I see this track is he's like losing touch with his older self. But, you know, he's feeling much more free now that he's like this new person for sure. Yeah. And he also suggests, you know. I guess you can make that that argument too. Yeah, I mean, that's how I saw it. With the people want to make me scream and shout. There's also a sense of anxiety, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, also at the end of the day, you know, he's clearly making it clear that, you know, he doesn't... He's made it very clear throughout the rest of the album that he doesn't care what people think about him, for sure. He's happy. He's happy being himself. Yeah. And that's, that's what all, matters. That's all That's all that matters. If Rex here. is watching this for some reason... Michelle watched it, which, <laughs> oh, my God, that blew my <laughs> that's mind. That's right. Announcement. An artist actually saw our show. They're gonna. I, I hope they don't bully my haircut. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't care. I would just be happy about it. But like, I'm, you're like, please, <laughs> please make fun of me. I want you people to realize I exist. That blew my mind when I was just scrolling through TikTok and I went to their page and I'm like, holy shit, that's me. That's me in my outfit. That's and, you in your outfit. And they, were, they were watching. Our that's outfit. me on the screen. Look at me. I'm there on the TV. I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute that's me but it blew my mind and it made me really happy but uh yeah that was that was pretty cool yeah, that's cool shout yeah. out michelle i hope you guys are all i'll watch uh, i'll listen to this yeah they're all watching this specific episode about rex you know I mean, they, who knows they might be rex fans yeah yeah cool yeah uh, I hope IDK saw it. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I, idk saw it but like if for some reason he saw the video and he's watching this one yeah we're fans. Also, uh, IDK, when I said you kind of sound like Lil Dicky, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I seriously <laughs> That's meant- the reason you didn't share the video. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, just you vocally sounded like Lil Dicky for a moment and it threw me off. But I, I liked it. So please don't I hate, hate that me. I heard it and I'm like, I kind of see what you're saying. But like, <laughs> you're wrong for that. 
<laughs> IDK is not gonna watch the video the minute he hears that part. I it wasn't meant to. It was meant to be more of a compliment, just because you know vocally it sounded like him. And I'm like, I got confused for a minute. I had to share my thoughts just because I, I didn't know if you also picked up on that. I did make it very clear the white boy was not saying that. <laughs> the white boy did not say that. I mean. It's, yeah, but like it's a good album, so yeah. I just I really hope he I I hope I hope if this blows up at some point, he like we go back and like we meet him and like look, IDK. I meant it in a good way. Please don't kill me. Please don't do <laughs> please, it. Please, please don't don't hurt me, IDK. Your yeah. album was good. It was really good. No, it's pretty good. Thank you for putting me on that too. By the way. Oh yeah. I mean, you should check out his follow up. I, I mean, it, I don't. I don't. Oh, sorry. I'm critiquing an artist that I like. I don't think it's quite as good as Izzy Rail, but you know I like it a lot. So, All right. But well, uh, sure. yeah, I, I vote that we we uh, listen to Denzel Curry's new album next week. Hey, no, sure. we were doing Nigo. Uh, really? Nego. Yeah. Did we agree to that? Yes, we did agree to this. Okay. All right. I don't recall this. Come on, girl. Okay. Well, go. in the queue, Denzel Curry's new album. Oh All yeah, right. we'll we'll do I we'll do Denzel Curry for sure. Oh, uh, okay. I, I also do wanna. I also do wanna go back and listen to all the Rex albums, and you know, you know. I know, but we on. yeah, we need to like write down a week that we're like straight up just gonna listen to all that. Yeah. Plus, we still gotta talk about Atlanta. Atlanta. I mean, I, I don't know that show. That... What do you mean by that? That show. What, this could watch. still black created show. Hey, I know. Whoa, 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 there, chill. What do you mean by that? Whoa. What you mean by mean about that? Yeah, yeah, that was a fun three minute, three minute rant. Now when I was well, that was weird. All right, so what do you think about the album? Uh, it's really good, man. I come on, rating. I absolutely prefer it over Pony. Come on, Fantano, give us the rating. Come on, Melon, give us the rating. Man, Pony was good, but how? But you know, he lost touch because you know he he was on a Tyler album. He, he should have been better than this. Bro, did it's you still good. did you watch the? the I watched the Pony review. When oh. that came out. Okay, I, I didn't. I mean, he, no. he wouldn't shut up about the fact that, oh, what well, he should be doing better. The production should have been so much better on this. Just because he, cause he hung out with Tyler, I'm like, okay, just because he hung out with Tyler and did a song with him doesn't necessarily mean, you know, he, his production has to be like his or kind of his. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I didn't actually watch the Pony review. so I also have not seen the Who Cares review, so I don't know what he thinks about it either. Well, but Ironically, giving, uh, who cares? Exactly. I'm giving it. Because, I mean, after... I gasp i actually watched his in entirety it is what it is by thundercat review i mean if you're gonna claim that do rag is not sexy yeah come on man mm-hmm. come on i think it's dragon ball do rag yeah dragon ball do rag yeah if you want to claim that song isn't sexy Click. <laughs> well, it's, it's 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 adorable that thundercat and uh michael b jordan both love anime Hmm. I think it's cute. And then, ironically, I, don't know, I was about to say Doja Cat. Hold on. Thundercat. Wrong wrong cat there for a second. Yeah. God. TikTok, please. I beg you. Please stop, stop showing me Doja Cat. She has a grip stop on me, it. bro. I don't want to fall into that. No, I don't. I don't give a shit about this bitch, okay? I don't care. I'm sorry. Like, if there's Doja Cat fans out there. I've explained it in previous Doja podcasts. Ka- I'm not doing it Doja again. Doja Cat and Kalyukas are the kind of woman that would make a straight woman gay. I mean, you're probably right, but like, <laughs> I have my grievances with Doja Cat, so I'm not going to get into Shout it right now. Though, damn. Oh yeah, totally. But like, thanks, Cali- Do- thanks, Dom, for stealing her. Yeah, bro, that should have been me. At the after party, <laughs> the fact that he just comes out on tour with her and just starts singing out of nowhere. In the middle of the set. I think they have a song together. They do. Yeah. That's why he does it. But he'll just kind of like stroll up. Just start like dancing and shit <laughs> up to the stage. Bird to like mate. kiss her. Like a bird mating dance. Apparently they're happily in a relationship. That's cute. I am so, like, them. I don't know. I, I guess they've been in a relationship the, for a while. This is like the worst way to end this one. Because we're, we're not talking about What the fuck? Time. We're not even talking about the album at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we're just on our on Okay. All right. I'm going to give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. That's, that's fair. I think I'm it's 9.5. 9. 9. 9. Yeah, let's, let's end this so we can go eat some fucking food, dude. I am a little hungry.
I am I'm a little hungry. I want to get my uncle Iro on, you know, yeah. eat some food. <laughs> Enjoy Taco Bell at one in the fucking No, morning. you were fucking crazy for that. <laughs> I should have been Uncle Iro right then, dude. <laughs> there was like Alvaro, else do not eat Taco Bell at one AM. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any regrets. I, I didn't, you know, <laughs> destroy my bathroom. That just you know, I just Oh, yeah, but my body was like, wh- why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you do that? Yeah, my, why'd you my do body that? Was like that too. Yeah, for context, we went to Record Store Day, which we're going to show our haul one of these days. Don't yeah, worry. I already recorded, you know, our, our, our stuff for the vlog. I'm editing that currently. Yeah. That'll probably um, come up before this video for sure, so people will see that haul. Yeah, well, we went to Record Store Day, which is where I got my Apricot Princess five-year which anniversary. I, I was one of the, the lucky few, you know, when I was first in line to grab the Taylor Swift of the Lakes, which, guess I only paid $20. It retails now on eBay for over $100, $200. Homie, really? That's lowest, and it's not even over with the bid, by the way. Probably retails higher than that. It's going to be gross. So this is going to be the Discog standard. People like yeah, and up. I'm just over here like, I just like the song. I just wanted the I vinyl. Want, I want blonde on vinyl, but I do not want to pay $700. Cheap. I mean, that's seven hundred dollars of the compared cheapest. to Kid Cudi, which goes for like way more than that. I can't remember the title of the album, but I'll just flash it on the screen again. God, I discussed this album before previously, and I'm like, yeah, I love this album. They, I can never remember the name of it though because it it's so weird. It, no, it's not, it's not Man on the Moon. It's that one uh, with Willow on it. Oh, I'm gonna look this up real quick. <laughs> it's literally what you did last time. That's literally what you did last time, and I should already know it by heart because I do love it. Oh my god! Oh but my god! So this fucking the stars in the sky album cover is ridiculous. Is it Kid Cudi presents satellite? Uh, no, flight? it's not satellite. It's it's the one around. Indicated. Two- uh no, after that. Af- that is the one after. After that, keep going. What? Okay. Keep going. It's that's not- not, uh, passion, pain, and demons. There you playing. go. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. Because uh, I know for a fact it's not speeding, uh, speeding Bullets to Heaven. I know for a fact it's not that one. I have a weird relationship with that album. That's why Because, they- like, I hate it sometimes when I listen to it. And then other times I'm like, yeah, but the metal side of me is coming out. And, like, this punk side. And I kind of like parts of it. Baby metal. My, uh, 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 he has a fun story. <laughs> we I- have tangented so long. <laughs> the podcast shouldn't be going anymore. My God. our tan- I feel like our tangents need to be clipped out of context. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. We I need to put some of these up on TikTok. You've I ever swear. like you've ever like watched a show and like out of context, like just like a, a like a two second scene out of context. It's the funniest thing ever, but the rest of the show is like super serious. This is what this is. This is exactly what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so right about that. But um, well, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. Shit, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Please. Things no. light bulbs. I don't remember. Fuck. I'm oh. so like hungry that I'm like, I, all I'm Belle thinking Delphine about is food. put a light bulb in her mouth and, and she couldn't get it out. You know what happened next? Cut her fucking mouth. Okay, then. Okay. What was I going to say? No, baby metal. I remember. I was talking about, I was talking, I was hanging out with my friends last week and um, we were talking about like, because like my friend Luis, he put a J pop song in the, in the playlist and he thought he felt embarrassed. And literally, we're all vibing to this J-pop song. And I'm like, Luis, why did you never tell me you were into J-pop? Like, I thought it was going to be embarrassing. Like, bro, dude, I love J-pop. I also fuck with baby metal. And my friend's like, they're they're okay. I don't mess with them like that. It's just not my thing. I'm like, hey, it's not for everyone. But baby metal is pretty good. I like baby metal. I mean, like, you know, I like baby metal. So. You got me on that. How dare you? I mean, yeah. How dare you? Jamie on cute. I just I do want to say like girls <laughs> singing they, metal songs. They do actually have a very diverse discography because like their first one is super hyper experimental with the dubstep hip hop pop stuff metal, mm-hmm. but like a lot of their songs are just power ballad ballad songs. We need to save this discussion. We need to talk about baby metal. <laughs> yeah, we just need to make a list of things we need to talk about. <laughs> Big list. We might have to just like straight up dedicate like some episodes to like. Like two albums, I think so for yeah, sure. I think that'd be. I think, that'd be, I think that'd be a good idea, so we can like you know have longer discussion about like two albums as we're, as having, we're like continuing to have a long discussion. discussion about like random shit. <laughs> it's just in our mind. All right, the show's over. We're gonna get food. We're 
Gonna eat food. I don't know what kind Why of food. Why is my yet? phone blowing up? I'm, I haven't watched Better Call Saul yet. Stop talking about Break- it. I have not seen Breaking Bad either. Please don't talk about it. Please, please, if you're gonna. Man, make- those people cook things and they they eat it on the grill and then they sniff it and then they. I'm basically out a of chemist. context. <laughs> I'm basically a chemist. I just know how to make bread instead of math. Shout out to Brian Cranston and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. I think it's Aaron Paul. Actually, that's his name. I believe. They're like out there. Do you not know that they're out there like selling their own vodka and signing it at that's random amazing. stores? It's amazing. That's <laughs> fucking random. Dan as shit. Aykroyd. <laughs> they're literally just out there at stands selling vodka. Are they doing <laughs> signing the, are, them? Are I'm not. The, I'm not are kidding. They doing the Dan Aykroyd thing? Uh, no. It's just like normal vodka. I thought I just no, said no, 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 no. It's not like that. Chrome, no, 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 crystal, no. Apparently, it's really good. The crystal skull. I don't fucking believe that for a second. I mean, he filters it through diamonds. I mean, I will say this right now. I'm going to say something very controversial about Ghostbusters. Do tell. The new one. Do tell. Dan Aykroyd was debatably one of the best out of the old actors who came back. I mean, shout out to Irene Hudson, too, as well. Uh, What's his name? Um. Bob Marley, no, no, uh, Bill Murray. <laughs> Bob Marley. Bob Marley showed up in the movie he just to be getting, like, I'm not going to do a terribly stereotypical accent. I'm not started, doing started, that. I'm not going to cancel on this show. <laughs> not getting canceled on his own show. No, I'm not. Do- no, it's not. God damn it. No. I, I find it hilarious. We're both wearing trucker hats today. <laughs> no, I know. I'm wearing like a Stranger Things. You know, Stranger Things is coming soon. So again, I got to represent a little. I'm just wearing this cute Levi's hat I got. So wow! You could say this man has Wrangler on his booty. I'm not wearing Wrangler. I'm wearing Levi's. <laughs> How sad! All right. All right. Well, we're, we're, we're done. Right okay. Here. Can anybody find you anywhere? Or are you gonna yet. just be right here? Can I reach out and touch you? You're just right there. Yes. Didn't mean it like that, but all right. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, just right here for right now. All right. You can find me steadily, mentally on Twitch. You can find me. You know, you've already found me on Facebook. You found me. You know, you, you got you my know, name. It's there, about, Andrew. You know? you know, bro. Do you know who is this man? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know who he is. You can find me everywhere. You know, all the links. They're there. You know, everything, everywhere, all at once. One of the greatest. I mean, no, no joke. I, I mean, literally, physically. That's, I think no it's, cap whatsoever. I'm serious. <laughs> it's like an Check that movie out. <laughs> he took the fucking in. Uh, yeah, we're done. But yeah, we're done. Mm-hmm. All right, see y'all later. <laughs> Investigate 311. <laughs> <laughs>